Happy Tuesday, everybody. We've got just a little bit of light rain, and I'm going to get to that. It's not going to be an all-day thing, but we've had a big change in the air over the Ozarks overnight. Temperatures already low to mid-60s. In fact, Springfield at 67 as of early this morning, and that is the average high temp for the time of year. And the dew point, it's a measurement of moisture. You notice lower numbers as a rule to the east and higher numbers to the west. And in fact, in particular, I want you to notice uh, these low to mid 60s over here in Oklahoma, and whereas most of us have 50s. That is significant because what will happen here is that while the best rain is down here to the southwest and we're talking of course uh, north central texas to oklahoma that is going to move to the northeast but already you see the light showers that are coming northeast out of that region fizzling out that's because our air is much drier and the other issue is the source of lift we call that a low level jet stream it's one way we can lift the atmosphere but the focus right now is you remember where the rain was down here where the stronger winds are. And oftentimes, you'll see the best lift kind of along the nose, as we call it. And that's indeed what's going on this morning. So as that jet moves northeast a bit today, I think the focus for rain will be kind of out in this region here. And while there is some energy coming across the Ozarks, we just don't have quite the better moisture yet. As we go into tonight, yeah, a little broader area of lift, Moisture still isn't great, so we're talking some rain. And then Wednesday, it all weakens, which I think means that especially in the afternoon, we'll likely be dry again. However, bigger storm system kicking in out of the southwest, a stronger jet and better moisture as we head into Thursday, and that's when we start to see better rain. So here's this morning, and what rain we've got will likely continue to dwindle as we go through the morning hours. That's not to say you can't get wet, but boy, it isn't gonna measure much, a trace to a few hundreds, and then we may actually get a little sun out this afternoon, especially in Arkansas and South Central Missouri. Pretty confident we're gonna stay cloudy from Springfield on north, and you see where the rain is well west of us, and I think that, as it moves northeast, will kind of break up into very spotty showers overnight. There's tomorrow morning at 6, and again, a few showers around tomorrow, but they will likely be focused in the morning. Remember, as that low-level jet weakens, I think we're going to see the rain break up, what limited rain there is. Now, here's Thursday. First off, notice where the cold front is, but we've got an upper low that's going to be kicking out of the southwest, and it's going to sort of move like that. So what you're going to see is the rain that moves in will gradually fall apart by the afternoon, and then here comes the cold front finally on Friday. It's going to sit back in the plains until then. And then we don't have a lot of lift with the front, but some scattered showers Friday. Then as it gets just south of us, low pressure is going to develop out to the west, yank the front back north. Rain will be likely Saturday, and there's Sunday morning. That front will continue to move to the southeast. Temps will be dropping, and the rain should be widespread. Now, when you tally it all up, we could see some pretty big amounts. In fact, uh, these numbers, this bigger rain again to the west. However, we could see, I think, a pretty broad one to three inches. This is through next Monday, and by that time, we should see the rain out of the area. That is going to mean a warm and eventually wet week. Between now and Wednesday, the rain's going to be very spotty, and then a better chance of rain Thursday, Friday, pretty spotty, but that'll be the last day in the 70s. In fact, I don't think that everybody will be in the 70s. Uh, the front's going to be moving in, and so temps will drop off. The weekend looks very soggy. Notice the 48 for a low Sunday morning. That is our high for Monday. Right now, sunshine and high temps near 50 for Halloween.